this building right here. What's across the street? Between 69th and 70th. Just to give you a little more context, there we are. This right here is 69th. Right on the southeast corner, Central Park West and 69th Street. More specifically, these two levels up here. From the, there's an entrance to the park right across the street from the entrance of the building. This actually is part of the property. The tower that's set back above is the water tower. Yeah. Oh, so the applicant, that's their top floor. That's their top floor. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. A small footprint up there, though. The entire apartment is only about 3,500 square feet. Only. <laughs> right. Oh. And then we, of course, have terraces. So. Um, we have met the, a couple of people from OPC on the site. And we told them what our plan was for these same last windows. So what you're seeing tonight is already sort of equivocated with uh, the LPC advisor. Just, just so you realize that one of the reasons you're coming to us is yeah. because it's got to go to a public hearing. And That's so right. their advice is certainly um, helpful, but it, it, you know, the, their or, you know, the Landmarks Commission may have slightly different they, things to say to It's helpful, but not conclusive. Yeah. Right, that's a good I think it helped us in a sense, though, because what we're yeah. proposing oh, is good. Good. Sure it did, more in line with what the rest of the community is probably. Right. Right. So on the left is the existing 16th floor plan. On the right is the proposed 16th floor plan. The window is highlighted in red. The, the windows that are that are in the discussion this evening. Well, is the one up here? Is that a, a tripartite window? Is that this one? Yeah. Yeah. So that's so one, two, three, four, five, six window openings. Six that are facing the park. And one's a, a courtyard facing non community Yeah. So one, two, three. This, I guess you could. I got those. One, four, five, six. Okay. You can see here in this little uh, axle view, those same exact. This is obviously the uh, east side of the building. And then that one little window tucked in the corner on the, on the corner. This is all just to give you a general context before we go into the this is the 17th floor, on the left hand side is the existing plan, right hand side is the proposed, same two opening. This is probably reading more clearly in the paper copy you have in front of you, but on the left hand side is the park facing east exterior elevation, existing. On the right hand side is the proposed. And if you're trying to figure out the difference between the two, we're going to get into this as the pages of the presentation advance. But the basic idea is that uh, we have a tremendous amount of leaded glass and full colored stained glass in the middle of these windows. So what we're trying to do is preserve the stained glass and remove the leaded in order to get a better view. So just as an overview, can you point to what's leaded and what, you know, I mean, leaded is like the bottom of this one, but the color is on top. Is here's here's, here's a, the best example. See this one right here? Yeah. It's very uh, hatched and sort of clouded. That's that indicates that there's leaded light. glass plus a medallion in the middle, which is stained glass. If you look at that same window here, we made this clear glass and kept the medallion. Which means taking it out and putting it in, making a new window and inserting it. That's right. Okay. The same existing medallion back into right. the new triple glaze. Because okay. then you would take it out around the lid. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll become really clear when we advance to the presentation. This is that courtyard facing window, the same principle. This is from the south side. Again, same principle. Keeping the medallion, removing the lead. 
So I, I just as I look at this though, it looks like there's a lot of cross hatching. Is that because that's all colored? It's not colored. It's just a diamond pattern leaded glass. So single pane. Uh, you, you'll see again. But that's the proposed. And I thought you said you were taking out, essentially taking out the cross hatch. That's right. And keeping the, the color. Right. But it looks like the cross hatch remains. This is the proposed one, right? Right. Isn't this cross hatch? Oh, you're pointing there? Oh, so this window has no stained glass in it, and we're proposing to change that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, there's a long side. Yeah.
commission a New York City stained glass expert that was probably trained in Europe somewhere, and they uh, built these in New York and installed them specifically in this Medallions specifically. The other pieces, when I, when I refer to as leaded glass, probably came later. We don't really know. We have a, a stained glass consultant that can't exactly confirm that. But the, these medallions, like you'll see closer up in a minute, definitely. <coughs> This is the first side light to the east side of the living room. Medallion in the middle, lead glass below. These are the doors to the south side of the living room. Medallion at this level, lead glass above and below. This side light is a mirror of the one we just spoke about. And then these two windows are on the south side of the living room. Medallions are at this level, lead glass above. Those were diamond patterns as opposed to right The diamond pattern is not actually that consistent. It's like on some windows, but not others. But I'm saying on, on window five and seven, oh, yeah. five and six, and the door six. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. trying to get it. Right. So this window, east facing on the, in the tower, let's call it, 17th floor, we are proposing no change. Other than to try to carefully replace it with an insulated unit. So, what you see is we'll be replacing time, but with a hopefully a better thermal uh, layer either on the inside or the outside. But no change to the perception, arm facing. 